Hey guys, I'm Mike. I'm a general practitioner working in Greater Manchester, UK. And in this short video, I'm gonna share with you an amazing workflow optimization tip on how to create quick codes and text. I'll do this by explaining what they are, how to use them alongside some examples, and elaborate a bit on the medical legal implications of using these. Finally, if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna share with you all of the shortcuts that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's get started. I worked as a GP in Australia for a year. And one thing I learned about Aussies, and this is a direct quote from our practices receptionist, Aussies love money and time is money. And GPs in Australia are paid per patient contact and not by the hour. So there was a lot of focus on being quick and automating menial tasks. And a great way to do that is by using shortcuts in patients' notes. And Emis has a super easy way to do that. Let me set the mood here. It's cough and cold season. This is pre-COVID obviously. And your duty clinic is full of kids with self-limiting viral illnesses. NICE recommends that we use very specific safety netting in this case. And that's exactly what you do. At the end of every consult, you tell mom, you tell dad. So I think this is a viral illness. Continue over the counter paracetamol and ibuprofen. If fever more than five days, rash, vomit, drowsy, not passing urine or you have concerns to come back or call 111. Now that's pretty decent safety netting. But an easier way to go about this is to use a shortcut. And I created a shortcut that I called full stop safe. There we go. Full stop safe enter sorted. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Let me show you another example. So let's say we do a lot of referrals and we want to be kind and courteous to our secondary care colleagues. And so we end every referral with a very kind and courteous, we would greatly appreciate your input. Well, that's a nice and friendly thing to say, isn't it? But instead of actually having to go to the effort of writing that at the end of every referral, I just created a shortcut that I called full stop ref. And I let Emis be kind and courteous for me. Let's start creating. Go into any consultation and click on CR config. On the left hand side, you're gonna have quick codes and text for your whole organization or just for yourself. So click on quick codes and text and just go add. As you can see, our practice has really embraced quick codes and text and there are loads and loads here. But I want to show you how to create the safety netting one that we talked about. Really easy. Click add. This is where you name your shortcut. I would recommend using a special character to prefix your shortcuts. That way you don't accidentally put it in the notes as you're documenting. Now I use a full stop. Some people use hashtags. Some people use semicolons. Let's write full stop safe. Impression viral continue over the counter paracetamol and ibuprofen. If fever more than five days, rash, vomit, and drowsy not passing urine or concerns to come back one on one. At this stage, you can also add a code here if you wanted to. Click add, and that's it, it's done. Now there are some medical legal implications of using shortcuts in patients' notes. They pretty much boil down to one basic principle. You must have said what you put down in the notes. You can't finish a viral illness consult with, well, just let us know if it's not better and then use the safe shortcut. Now there are a lot of resources online and I found a really cool website with some shortcuts called Primary Care IT and the link is in the description. But I wanna to touch on one of the shortcuts there. This specific shortcut is called hashtag ART and this is what it says. Hashtag ART. Explain that antibiotics and antihistamines are ineffective and may cause adverse effects advised that adequate fluid should be taken during the course of the illness. Highlighted that healthy food is recommended, although no specific diet or mineral or vitamin supplementation is necessary. Adequate rest advised explaining it is normally not necessary to abstain from usual activities. Safety netted discussing concerning symptoms and features that would require further review, including fever shortness of breath or any pleuritic chest pain. Firstly, how good is that robot? And secondly, come on, I know I'm exposing myself to judgment here, but who honestly ends every viral illness consult with that? 
not me. And lastly, I think it's just more important to create your own shortcuts that make sense to you, that make your life easier and not harder. I promised you guys a bonus at the end. I'm gonna share with you all of the shortcuts I use day in, day out. They're in the description below. Feel free to copy and paste them into your own clinical system. Now, I also had this really great idea. If you have a favorite shortcut that you use all the time, please leave it in the comments below. That way we can build up this really cool database of shortcuts that we can all share with each other. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative. If you have any issues, you can leave them in the comments as well. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe. You can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck. <laughs>